Okay, this is another method you can use to animate the flower stalk in Maya. Um, I was thinking that the lattice could be easier, but uh, for some students it does is not. So um, I just created a little exercise. Uh, the little exercise here with some modifiers that um, the Maya also has. Uh, they're a little bit different to work with. Um, so where do you see them? If you click on the on the flower sack geometry, you're going to see uh, some modifiers applied to it, and you're going to see them right here on the right here on the input section. For example, let's go look at the squash, um, and uh, you get several attributes there that I modified to make it easier for you to animate. But um, you're going to work with the factor. Um, let's say you want to expand it a little bit, uh, you know, higher or lower. You know, you can just you know increase or decrease that number. Okay, uh, you could use negative numbers to make it go down. Okay, kind of like a squash. Um, the other attribute is the bend, let's see, um, and then there you can just work with the curvature, um, and that needs uh, really big numbers, like, uh, let's say 100, see how much it deforms, that was like too much, <laughs> okay, so you could use that, um, for making it, like maybe wiggle the head side by side, um, and the twist attribute, um, you just uh, work on the angle, angle as well. You say 10, you know, say 50, you see how it starts uh, moving, negative 50. So let's just set some keys uh, really quick to see it at work. Um, I'm going to, on the timeline 0 over here, making sure we're there, uh, I'm going to press the S key for, oh, excuse me, I've been pressing it over and over. Let's say, uh, what was that, 50? Let's say 50, okay. Make sure you press enter after you change the attribute and now we press S and then you're going to see that all the attributes get um, changed in color. So let's go to, let's say frame 30, about a second in the animation, let's change that to negative 50 and then it twists to the other side. And once again, press enter to get out of the attribute and press S and if we play our animation, uh, now the character kind of twists there, okay? Uh, if we were to put another, uh, you know, no, the, the other attributes work exactly the same. Uh, you just change the, the attribute over here, let's say, uh, let's get started in zero. With this uh, attribute, let's press zero and press S to set the key up there initially and on frame 30 let's say that we want to bend it uh, this way that way press enter right to get out of the attribute and press S on frame 30 and then now it not only uh, twists but it also bends to the side okay that adds a little bit more motion to it okay and the same thing with all the uh, with the squash attribute as well. Just uh, expand it or squash it as you as you need to, and press S uh, after pressing Enter. Okay. I hope this helps. And if the lattice was too difficult, just try this one out and see if it works better for you.